Hello, welcome back to No Man's Land. It is me, Nolan. How are you doing today? It is early March. We have made it through the winter in one piece, and we are now trying to, you know, take stock of our current situation. You know, being unable to cut grass through the winter really slows down our ability to make money. So this is the hardest it's going to be until this time again next year. With that information, what we know is that our chickens are going to be eating up a lot of our money until they reproduce enough to the point where we can start to sell some of them to help offset the cost of the food they make. If all works out well in that regard, I think the chickens eggs are going to be close to pure profit yeah there's property maintenance there's this there's that yada 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 i don't care what i do care about is profit and cold hard cash so we're gonna get our other trailer worth of silage sell it and see just how much cash we are sitting on at the moment i really just hoping we can get above the break even i believe we will by like six hundred dollars I believe what we're going to be looking at is ways to save a little bit of money. Because I was doing some research and I realized wheat can be bought here. That means all we need is a trailer capable of moving wheat. And yeah, you've seen the prices, right? $8.24 per thousand instead of that super high cost of 1500 What that means for us is we're effectively going to be near halving our food cost. Now, the difficulty that presents itself with this is in the fact that we have no way of getting a trailer like that right away. That's $3,000 there. Like, all of these trailers are a little bit too rich for us. Uh, the, there's that one there at 7000 but we don't have $7,000. We barely have $700, let alone $7,000. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to make use of that yet. And because of that, I'm kind of just looking to figure out what way to continue forward, right? We are almost, like, we're halfway through puberty, so in another three-month cycle, our chickens are going to start to reproduce. When they do that, we could, in theory, sell half of them to recur a little bit of cost, but I don't see how that solves our problem. Our problem right now is we barely have enough money to, like, we can't even bring them feed. So our chickens are going to be dead weight until we figure out a way to get more of them. Like, we can't use these trailers. In theory, lease this thing for $178. But if we lease it, that's just more costs we face. But I feel like that $178 is going to be worth it in the long term. It's going to save us so much money. I just, I think there's no way around it. We'll lease it until we can afford it outright. This is going to save us $700 for three months at the moment, which is, honestly, that's huge. Instead of spending $1,500 per thousand, we're going to spend $800 per thousand, saving us $700 per thousand. Of course, this all means nothing as soon as we're able to, like, plant and harvest our own wheat. That's nineteen grand. 19 grand is a little bit more than the $700 or the $7,000 trailer we were looking at. So we're, we're not at that point yet. I wish we were, but we just aren't. Not even close. So let's get ourselves our trailer here. Um, this little guy. Uh, we, yeah, there we go. 178 I am running lease to own, so this thing is going to absolutely ream us in terms of money. And then while we're here, before we go broke buying wheat for our chickens, let us refuel because we're not going to have silage for three months and we're going to have to make sure we have enough fuel to be able to sell our silage to come out on top. Um, so, yeah. I think we've seen this coming. It's just kind of how chaotic, we, like, it's just how we play the game. It's how we play the game. We're going to go as 
Break. We're going in debt as far as we can here. Start filling with wheat. There is $539 in wheat. We got 640 liters of wheat. Let's go bring it up to our chickens. This should last them hopefully another two months. Um, so they're going to go a month without having food. Granted, it only takes a month to ferment silage. So we may not be in it as hard as I was thinking. Because we could cut any of this stuff up on top of the hill here. And I don't really want to sell it as grass. Like, it will definitely have to go down the hill. But, and, and uh, yeah. It, that one's just a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Our chickens are going to love this, though. And that is what we are all about. We could sell our trailer, but we're going to need it to move pallets of eggs, sadly. So we'll overload this for our chickens. They will be very grateful chickens. Yes, they will. We could sell their eggs. What are their eggs worth right now? They're worth 400. No, no, no. Max value 416. Value right now 240. Man, that is really bad. That's really bad. Look at the prices here. Show price fluctuations. Price per thousand. The lowest is 800. The top is 1400. We are at the lowest point. We are not selling these eggs right now. That cannot happen. I hate to say it. The eggs need to stay. We could return the trailer. No. That does, it's not in the heart of the game. Not in the heart of the game just to sit there, lease it, return it, lease it, return it. That is ours now until we pay it off. I think what we're going to do here is we're going to mow... I mean, would it be healthy just to mow two batches every single time? Don't tell me. Oh! So I just don't have a front PTO. Okay. With that information of not having a front PTO... I don't think there's anything we can do anyways. <laughs> Oh man, classic, classic. Yeah, no, we're gonna do a little mowing montage as we found ourselves to be so good at. We're going to get um, what looks like, I'm hoping for 10 passes or so, and then we will be back. So I will see you when we have all of that taken care of. Here we have it, 10 rows. All mowed down. We're going to grab our windrower and get this all taken care of and into our silage pit. Yay. Here we have it. Yield was not nearly what I was anticipating. Hoping for 33. We came out of this harvest with 25,000 liters. Uh, I think we just are down a growth stage honestly I, I i don't think there's any other explanation for it we just we ain't got it like it's not on the field and it is what it is so i don't think there's anything necessarily wrong but we're just definitely we're not going to have near enough money to sustain off of this kind of levels Especially if we're hoping to do some more with chickens. But, all things considered, it could be worse. You know, we are currently break-even. And, I mean, that's that's basically about the end of all the good stuff, honestly. We're currently break-even. But we, we do have chickens now, so we should be able to... Like, I'm hoping just to be able to keep them as the highest possible profit... And everything else can just be an afterthought. Up to 7% already. That's crazy. Yeah, that's awesome. But either way, we're going to get this all compacted. We're going to get it all tucked in. And kind of see where we're going from there. We need to get a good game plan. It might just be go to the next month and anticipate a better growth stage. We might just be siling, selling, sorry, selling the silage that we currently have or, you know, that will be in this bunker silo in preparation for the fact that we're going to start getting some better growing periods and we should be able to turn better profit. So I think that's going to be the game plan. We're going to get this all sold, get it compacted, get it covered, 
look to go ahead a month and I think we'll just kind of take it from there because it, I mean silage is really our only way of making money right now it is early in the morning and really I was just kind of taking a peek there's a 68 horsepower tractor here 21 grand it has a front PTO look at this little thing 24 miles per hour if we can find a way to afford that this month we are going to be able to mow and hopefully pick up right behind what we mow at the same time of course that hinges on us being able to even do that in the first place you know so i'm i mean that's worth seven and there we have it 11 34 this beautiful april morning so twenty one thousand dollars could very well turn this series on its head let's see what we're worth here time saving stock four thousand one hundred dollars here that's gonna help let's um detach grab the leveler quick I wonder if I can put the leveler on why okay the leveler got tipped over we're skipping the leveler but I wonder if we're going to be able to afford that little tractor we might end up selling just a whole bunch of grass just to like force it to ha okay we need it we need it that that thing didn't like uncover at all how did it tip over did it oh it's that stupid giant meadow roller let's see if we can just like force it up Oh, I have no way to lower the three-point, do I? Um, there is a solution to this. I call it, you didn't see anything whatsoever. You guys seen absolutely nothing. There we go. Let's just drive into the pit here. Tip it down. Is it? Okay, it's not opened on the side. That's typical. You should just have to move, like, the littlest amount. There it goes. All right, thank you, my leveler. We'll put you down right there. But, yeah, we're going to get this sold. We're going to see if we can try to afford that tractor. Because if we could drop everything right into this thing right away, it would save us so... Oh, it didn't even pick everything up. I am slightly irritated by that. That would have been optimal if it could have picked everything up like it was supposed to or uncovered the whole thing but it's okay because now we can get stuck and be happy you know now we can get stuck just like the farming simulator giants software people want us to do they want us to get stuck this challenge they said it's too hard I'll tell you about something that's too hard. Also this challenge. But I'll never say it again, because we're going to absolutely smash this. Did I get stuck? Um, oh! Cheesed it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me. See, these right here, it's like, how is a tractor high center on nothing? I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you let's just try to pick up this stuff over here yeah this is going well good i think we got most of that row let's just swing it back around we're already in first person we might as well just go for it huh oh yeah this could not go wrong how are we stuck the tires aren't spinning i think the uh loading wagon is stuck on the bunker silo that's exactly what it is don't hit the leveler thank you Man, this is going to be just absolute unplanned for chaos. I'm just going to fight with this and I'll be back. Hey, honestly, that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. But at the same time, it took way longer than I was hoping it would.
So where we're at right now, we are finally getting up here to the sell point. Um, our price honestly isn't great. You like we are. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. Our price isn't too bad. I'm not going to complain. 1,900 liters here. This will be a nice pretty penny to get out of debt just a little bit. Problem is, is I don't know if we're going to be able to afford this tractor. 21,287 dollars. In eggs, we are sitting on 487 dollars. Uh, I don't think it's going to come down to something that minor, truth be told. Uh, but even in that instance, if it is, we could sell our chickens for $17 a piece. I think we bought them for $1 a piece. That's not terrible. We could just, in theory, try... I mean, I don't think it's worth it unless we're doing our own grain to raise chickens to sell. What kind of price do we get on barley? It is cheaper, considerably. And I think that will be necessary. If we can feed our chickens for $7.82 per thousand... I wonder. I mean, I'm hoping to get our chickens to reproduce before I sell them. That way it's just kind of a looping cycle. But, I don't know. This tractor, it looks really, really good. I think if we play our cards right, it might be on the auction by the time the next month is here. Still. And if it is... Like, we just... I think it's just something that we have to jump on if we can. We don't know the next time there's going to be a cheap tractor that hits the auction like that. Uh, not like that, but it has to have a front PTO. So uh, We're actually going to dig this out away from the wall because we already have the leveler on. We might as well. Okay. Man, I love when levelers level. How is that even supposed to happen? Can we even get out of here now? What is happening? Why can't we level? Oh my god. Like, small silage pit, small tractor. We knew stuff was going to get raunchy, but man, that's just brutal. Uh, we'll leave this. Thing has to lean forward, right? Kind of. I don't know. Uh, but we're just going to try to load up our remaining 5,000 silage, get a decent sale price, and see maybe we might be able to just load this thing down with a whole bunch of silage. And if we're able to do that, there is a chance we afford that tractor. It may be slim, but there is a chance. What is going on in this thing? My silage pit hates me. It is official. Yeah, dig that stuff out of there. Dig that stuff out of there. We're going to raise this thing as high as we can. And pray for the best. Come on. Now drop it. Oh, well, that's a strategy right there. That's one I think I'm going to continue to use. Because that just made that way easier than it's ever been. It is lower. Get stuck. And then just... I have no idea what I just did, but it was kind of cool. This is awesome. We have a strategy. We have a strategy. How stupid is it? I don't care what you tell me. It literally just hasn't failed, so... 158 silage price per thousand. That is $10. We're diving. That's awesome. Another sale. Here we go. It's only 5,800 liters of silage, but I'm hoping that we are able, I don't know, just we need to make a dent in this 20 grand. It's $21,000 half off. If we're able to do anything with this, 
This is like the cheapest front PTO tractor we're going to find anytime soon. We're at a tenth of the cost right now. We're getting absolutely just obliterated. Even if we sell the chicken coop, the chicken coop, I mean, it should sell for maybe 45. I mean, we bought it for nine. Worst case scenario, 45. That puts us up at six, uh, seven thousand ish dollars. This tractor brings us up to 13, 14,000 ish. Um, the silo, like, if we sell the chicken farm, we don't need the trailer for 2,000, which puts us to 16,000. The compactor, uh, 17 ish thousand dollars. I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Let's go, because we wouldn't need the small trailer. Let's return it anyways. We don't need it. That was another hundred bucks. Let's go up the hill. Wrong way. If we go up the hill, demolish. Animals within. Sell the chickens first. I really don't want to. But I think it's necessary. This tractor that we are looking at could revolutionize this world. We would be able to mow and pick it up at the same time we would become way more efficient we would be able to use way more of our grass here we could just go side to side up the hill instead of having to try to drive backwards we'd be able to mow going forwards which that in its own is already infinitely more appealing than what we're up to right now we could view this as a major setback but truthfully if we pick up this tractor for 23 grand, we have ourselves a $40,000 tractor. We're going in the right direction. You know what I mean? We could take these eggs to market, sell the eggs, because those are worth 500 bucks. We have $820 in chickens. We spent 300 on them. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um, pick up. Oh, I can. We have to make this work now. This this is our option. And I'm 100% in for the full send on this. 4,400. That hurts. I was hoping for a better price, but... It is what it is. We, we have to make a move here. Chickens, although I think they would have been massively profitable for us, I don't think they were the call. This way we sell the eggs, brings us up to $8,000. Sell the trailer, $10,000. Tractor, $16,000. Okay, so we the, the problem, the tractor has to be the last thing to go. That is the deal. The tractor has to be the last thing to go. Because as soon as we sell the tractor, we could try to... Oh, we could cut down a couple trees on our property. Keep the trailer. Cut some trees. Use the tree money to afford the new tractor. Oh, that might be huge. That might be the biggest move yet. But we need a chainsaw. It's a thousand dollar investment. I mean, these have to be... We have to have trees on our land, don't we? That one might be. Plus, there's... I mean, there's all these other trees around. We're going to make over $1,000 here. Without a doubt. We're going to make over $1,000. Um, but we don't buy the... I mean, I know that they're free there, but that's breaking our challenge. We're by the steel here. Everything is blurry. Are we fading out of existence? I don't know what's happening. That is crazy. Is it a bug? Or did I do something wrong? I don't know. Okay, I will be back. Problem solved. And I I think we just need to figure out what trees we own here because um, we we need some money. Uh, I don't know if I have the Lumberjack mod installed. That would have been good to check. But, alas. Okay, I don't have super strength on, so that's just a very small tree. 10.9. How long is it? 10.9 meters, weighing 127 kilos, that's pretty small, you gotta do what you gotta do, 
put a belt on it. Leave it there. Good. So I don't know. I doubt this is on our property yet. How about this one? This one's ours. There we go. I don't know if Autolo just grabbed that like that. That's kind of crazy. These small trees, I don't want to, like, take them down just in case. Like, there's that big tree up at the top of the hill. But I just kind of want to try to get these small ones out. We might hit it with our mower and stuff once in a while, but I think it's better than leaving them in and getting infinitely frustrated all the time that we're going around the trees. Right, go, come on. There we go. I had the chainsaw too angled there. It was not liking that all right that is another good looking tree still we're well within the weight here i think we're doing a good job of selecting which ones we are able to uh to work with but we don't have that many trees on this property so i'm kind of hoping that we don't uh come up short on this tractor this tractor would be so much fun for us that was a chore it fought I, I just i don't know why it just it didn't want to behave either way we've got some nice logs here and we're gonna see a thousand dollars on the nose that's it's good and bad it's good and bad because we need 21 2. Trailer sells for 22, which is 10 3, which is 16 17 1, 17 1, 17 5, 18, 19 20. If we sell the leveler, I don't think it's there yet. I don't think we're there. Are you going to let me play the game here? This trailer has been a problem. I want to keep it. I do. But it's gone. See you later. Okay, we're at 10-3. I don't know. I mean, I think we sell these right away. I think we just sell the chainsaw. Sell the compactor. Brings us up to 12. Brings us up to 18-8. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. I just, I don't know if we want to run a round of silage because a round of silage may very well be enough time for this to leave the store. And that would basically be lights out for us. You know, we... We just cut back to the essentials right here. Got $11,300. Man, it sucks that we just built the chicken coop and then this had to show up because, truth be told, the chickens probably would have been okay, but this is by far the right move. Let's just see if this will hook onto the front. I should have tested this a long time ago, but okay, good. It won't. I say good. It would have been so nice if it did, but man. So I'm thinking cut five passes sell a trailer and go from there because we need a tractor with a front pto it's going to speed up the silage process uh effectively it's going to take so much headache out of it for me that i'm actually going to want to do this for a little bit either way we're uh we're going to grind out this tractor we are getting this tractor it's just how it has to be so um Let's just make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, I ran out of fuel with the tractor on the last couple passes. I've got three full trail, like three full loading wagons in over there. And I said, you know what we're going to do? We're going to sell the tractor. We're going to sell the mower. We're going to buy the brand new tractor. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Wheel brand. Oh, what do we got? Oh, Michelin man tire. Oh my God. Twin wheel. I want weights. No weights. Dude, that would be overkill for our small farm, but we wouldn't fall over in the silo but we wouldn't be able to get the trailer next to the side. We're going with this one. It's purchased. We got ourselves an electric mower or electric vehicle, ladies and gentlemans. With that, we go to the place. And here is our new and beautiful electric tractor. 55% damage. That is not what we like to see, but Honestly, this thing kind of rips. Uh, let's open these doors here. Oh, let's open these doors here. Like, the instant power delivery of electric is so nice. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be digging on this tractor right here. I'm not much of an electric 
Okay, $802 for the repair. We will spend the money to repair the tractor. Uh, because we don't want to mess with that. And $5,000, but honestly, I couldn't be bothered right now. I'm just so hyped that we have a tractor. Let's go back to the farm. This thing rips. Look at this. We gotta hit the brakes a little bit once in a while. That's that the power of the electric right there. Okay, like or maybe the we should say the the nimbleness of the electric because the power of diesel will not go understated. It will not. But this thing is just such a beast. We are able to load uphill at the six miles per hour that the trailer likes, which. We can't do that with our little tractor that we sold, ha, L tractor. Um, but we've got, like, this is just, I'm enjoying the farm right now. I'm enjoying the farm so much uh, just by now having a tractor that feels, like, worthy of farming. I know it sounds weird to say it, but it feels like we're worthy of farming with this. Uh, so let's just, we're going to get this thing compacted, we're going to get all of it covered, we're going to get into the next month, and we're going to see um, what kind of stuff we can find for a decent mower, because that needs to be our next priority. So, update, this thing is, mwah, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh, I didn't realize, by the way, fellas watching the YouTube video, this is my face. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. we I decided we're going to stream well, while we record. Um, so, yeah, this is my face. It, it's very nice to see you. I, I hope it's very nice to see me. If it's not, I understand. I'm not very pretty. But <laughs> uh, we're going to forego caring about what the costs of silage are at right now. Anyways, we need to make some money. And money will be made right here, right now, because... We have to consider if we can drop $7,600 on this mower. Okay? Think about this for a second. We know we need a mower. It's 63% off. The problem. It's 82 horsepower to run. Okay? 82 horsepower to run is not ideal. And the reasoning for that is simply we only have like 60-something horse. We need to be able to run the loading wagon and the mower at the same time. What we could do is we could take the safe approach. We could buy the same mower we just had, that front one, um, and in doing so, we would be able to confidently mow and pick up at the same time, but we wouldn't be saving 63% on a mower and only spending seven grand, right? Our other option is literally right here. It's 14.5. It's only 15 horse. The one we're looking at is the extra 732F. It's right here. I don't know. It's something we need to really consider here because this is a, a major point. Uh, drop it. Yep, there we go. This is insane. Like leaving the blade on here and everything's crazy. But either way, we need to consider whether we're going to buy this mower or not. Because the 15 horsepower of this one cannot be argued. Like, it's impressive. Like, if we match that 15 horsepower, we could, in theory, put a bigger loading wagon behind us. Right now, we're stuck at 6 miles per hour. Um... Like, we could find, like, this one and go, like, 10. But it's just what we're going to do. So this is what we've got. We uh, have slight hills to work with, but we are able to do both jobs at once. Uh, this is going to be a great speed grab for us here. We're going to be able to be much more efficient with what we're up to. Of course, you can see our speed is dropping a little bit. The mower is a little bit too big for what we're up to. But... I can't complain. Honestly, we got the thing 50, like, what was it? 50-something percent off? 
and it cuts like a dream, honestly. The best way to do this would probably be drive everything to the top of the hill, cut downhill at 6 miles per hour, drive back to the top, cut back down to the hill at 6 miles per hour. I think that that would work out fairly well. Um, but, truthfully, this is decently flat land anyways. And we're able to push the thing 5 miles per hour? All is looking well. This is glorious. Uh, can we turn uphill? That is slightly unfortunate. As you can see, the mower is heavy enough to prevent us from turning uphill. There we go. We'll just cheese it a little bit. Yeah, we cannot. We don't, we're not heavy enough to even turn this thing uphill. The mower is in control. We'll just lift it for a second, turn, and drop it back down. And we're not going to be super efficient. I wish we could turn better, but we cannot turn uphill whatsoever. But that's good information to have. We, we might actually start going just down the hill, so that way we have control. We have 6 miles per hour, collection speed. I think that that's the play. Yeah, we can barely even get up this hill with this heavy thing on the front. Let's, uh... We're going to kite the hill to an angle. There we go. So I'm thinking we take... We're going to take a couple passes this way, like such. What it's going to do, it's going to help us line up so that we can take a long pass down. Let's lower that just a little bit. Maybe it'll help us uh, balance out and take some turns. So we lift. We'll turn. Take another cut. Woo! Yeah, look at that. I think this absolutely just bodies us. Okay, put this thing back down. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to use this to line ourselves up so that we know exactly where our property line is. And that's going to enable us to be a little bit more effective uh, when it just comes to getting our lines down the hill. Let's see how this goes. We've got a good rough idea of where our property line is. Right here somewhere. We're going to set the cruise control. Turn a little bit in. We're hoping we come out really close to our line at the bottom. Uh, but time will be the teller with this one. We can always readjust partway down the field, but I think we're just going to be hands off here and see how close we get. Um, but yeah, let's just let's see how it goes. Well, all right, everybody, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the content, feel free to check on while I'm streaming. I'm working on this right here. But other than that, please enjoy the rest of your days and nights. I will see you next time. Take it easy.